Welcome back, guys, to the channel. I got my gear with me today. The big, big gear, catfishing gear. I'm going to get out and do some catfishing today. Um, that's what's FedEx truck blocking me in behind me. That's what's going on there. Anyway, at any rate, I got this catfishing gear. It's raining, drizzling. Got me a hat to put on. Got a few essentials. I'm gonna go and catch some bait. Uh, my brother's down already trying to, he's fishing. He said he already caught a 15 pounder, but we're gonna join in with him. Also, if all goes well, we should be doing a catch and cook, man. With this with this rain, he already caught one. I'm gonna go catch some bait. We should catch more. Might be able to have us a little tasty little catch and cook going on, man. Uh, I think I will grill or smoke some, uh, smoke the catfish uh, today. You know, if all goes well. So, wish us luck. Stay tuned. Oh, if you haven't already, man. You like the content, man, for this, for my channel, man. Go ahead and subscribe. Smash that like button. Hey, even turn on notifications if you want to, man. Just continue to show love, man. And I'll show love to y'all by continuing to put out content, man. Comment on the videos. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll put out stuff that you want to see. If not, you know, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Actually, I'm always looking for ways to get better. Uh, I feel like I've been kind of stale lately, uh, but I had a lot of other things going on. It's not an excuse. Y'all don't want to hear that. I'm going to continue to try to bang out some great content for you guys. Let's get on to the mission. We got plenty of bait for the mission. Look at all that good juicy shad down there. We got a few of them dying already on us, but this ought to do for the day. I beat my brother to the spot. It's uh, close to some uh, familiar territory, a uh, spot that I fished here recently. I'm kind of glad we're not fishing the exact same spot, but this spot should do okay. Starting to drizzle a little bit, get a little sprinkles on me, and uh, probably time to pull out the hat. If it gets a little too wet, I got my raincoat, or rather rain jacket, but this feels decent. I'll put a hat on, and that way the water won't bother me in my face. Right now, we just wait on my brother to show up and get to the fishing. Well, at the moment, we're still waiting on somebody else to show up to determine if this is where we're actually going to set up and fish at. In the meantime, I'm going to toss out this swim bait and see if I can't pick up any bass while we wait. Either I'm on some stick, which is that, that's exactly what it was. Oh, there's a fish on. Oh, there's a fish on. Ha ha. That's what I'm talking about. At least I waiting ain't in vain. Bye bye, little guy. Now that everybody's here and getting set up, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with. You know, that's one of my bass fishing rods. We're going to go into that today. This is uh, McBasson's catfishing setup. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. We'll wait till he gets here. Uh, this right here is my Moon Sniper. I got 30 pound braid on it. Uh, I don't remember what size the leader is, uh, but this is one of my favorite catfishing rods, uh, striper fishing rod. And this right here is my 15 foot rod. I call it my striper sniper. Uh, I use it for catfishing and striper fishing. It's got a Cat Max reel on it that I traded. I don't even know what size uh, or what test braid that is because it's the braid that was on there when I got it. So it's been doing me good since then. Uh, and this right here, that's the big boy. They turned this shit into the ultimate fishing area right here. Hammer my good man. Somebody use a rod Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Okay, give me that J-hook, boy. Fish on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, cut. <laughs> we got this boy ready to go. We got a couple live shad on there. They won't be live long. One of them flew off. That's how it goes. I never said I was a catfish sniper. I just said I can catch them when I want to. We'll see if that one that stayed on still catches me a fish. Now I gotta find my dead shad that I dropped in the grass over here to cast out. Probably stepped on them. Oh, okay, here we go. Now don't laugh at my ghetto rig right here. This was uh, some throw net weights that I had set up because I ran out of weight, so I just put these on. They do the trick. They just look ghetto, so don't judge. That's my favorite rock to fish with. And now, we wait. We'll try. Threading a bunch more of these on here. Again, hopefully these turtles won't eat us out of house and home. I'm going with six of these bad boys. I'm waiting for either a big bass, big catfish come along and eat up that perch on that bobber right there. He's swimming along, swimming along so helplessly. Well, it's been a couple of hours out here and it seems like the turtles keep picking us clean. Uh, we got people getting bites here and there, but nobody's been able to hook up with anything. Hopefully our luck will change within the next 30 minutes to an hour because I ain't saying I'm letting up, but I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I don't feel good. I'm ready to go, but I ain't letting up though. I just cracked my phone. Yep, when I jumped up, it fell out of my pocket. I just got stuck on something right here. Uh, 
It's not a turtle. It's not a turtle. Good line. Yeah. What do you got on there? It's a big ass turtle. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, big big ass. Head. Big ass turtle. Soft shell. Big soft shell turtle. <laughs> you think we'll come up with it? I'm gonna pull him up. Looks like you foul hooked him. In his hand. It's in his hand. Yeah. I got loose. There you go. Oof. <laughs> well. Damn. Broke my damn phone over a damn turtle. <laughs> you heard it? You jumped up and what? Like, I saw the line. I raised up. I set up. And I thought my pocket was zipped up. And it hit the ground over there, didn't it? it like, when I was, uh, when I, st I stood up, and then I went and jumped over that rail, and it came out of my pocket when I jumped over the rail. You just got that screen replaced, didn't you? Yep. Now I gotta get it replaced again. Give me a B. Give me an H. Hooked up? Oh. Thought you had one on. Oh, he got off. <laughs> I felt it hitting. I was like, nah, maybe just catch it. Everyone ain't. There you go, and it's again. You want to paint it? That's what's up. Hey, oh, yeah. You got him off this swim bait. Always with the swim bait. Yep. Little dinker. Hey, how'd y'all do out in Arlington? Uh. I caught two. He caught nothing. Now, I don't ever see him catch anything. It's always the dinkers. See, I should have brought them swim baits. That doesn't look like a little bit better than the other ones. Man, he's small and feisty. Yeah, kind of fat, too. He is fat. Bye-bye, little guy. But, yeah, this, uh, you ever been to, uh, Glen Garden, the old golf course? Uh-uh. Man, we should stick in there. It's a whiskey factory in there. I didn't even know it. No one was over there. Mm -hmm. Swim bait. No oh, ass over here. Oh, he lit as hell. They all the same size, man. Cookie cutter. Well, bye bye, little guy. No bait yet again. Some came and took that perch off of there. Well, guys, the day is over. This has got to be about the worst day of my fishing life. Broke my phone, broke a rod, trying to save James's rod from going in the water. Don't think I got that on film. If I did, y'all would have been sorry by now. Man, it's just, I had a slow and rough go today, but... 
I didn't let up. Oh, man, I had a headache. Had, you know, just tired, sleepy. I don't know why. Maybe it's the overcast weather, but headache wouldn't relent. I think it's finally starting to go away now. It has been the worst day, man. Just just the worst day. But I'm gonna call it quits. Caught a few bass. There will be no catch and cook, unfortunately, because I didn't get any catfish on the line. I kept getting my bait robbed. Hey, it be that way sometimes. This might be what turned me off to catfishing, man. Like you come out and you wait all day, you get nothing. Bass, you go walk around and you find them. That's, I mean, that just seemed like a no-brainer to me. You have more fun that way. But hey, to each their own. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish packing up and get on out of here, man. Till next time, never let up, fam.